session and you're right i am holding the new amazon kindle not new but it should be it was new when i purchased so here what i am going to we are going to see something about the ebook so this one is kindle paper white and uh, here it's what you call it as the e-paper now let us just uh, look into the benefits of this so here is a properly the book that i am reading this is chapter number seven and they must be w so it is about x boson connected with the discovery of the x particle so if you see you can see the some options there at the top and if you go to the home in the home you can see several sections there so switch off this so here you can see this here it is there right there are several books there so i can just uh, go to this uh, your library section there and you can see see many books there okay so all these books you know are, are shown <coughs> you can get back and uh, see this is uh, the list of the books that are there right here is a jimal khalil's book so i think you can see the percentage also the, in the written in the crossbar there so in the crossbar if you have this uh, uh, number there it says about the percentage you have read that is 80 percent read or 50 percent read and uh, here are some books the last symbol by dan brown the sunfall by jimal khalili the order of time by carlo rivelli chasing new horizons by alan stern one of the very best book there here this one man's search for meaning and uh, by victor frankel again a very book and this one is endurance by scott kelly there he this particular book you know is probably one of the best book i have read <coughs> about uh, the astronaut so it talks about an uh, astronaut who was uh, who spent a year in the space international space station and uh, at the before the age of 50 years he was uh, diagnosed with cancer but uh, he overcome that cancer and it's not very easy to spend time on the international space station that took for one year and he has written an autobiography on and on how to spend life there in the uh, what is the astronauts training all about and those things okay and then i have some books there so far these are some of the books there here the first one is the pura and then again the quantum world here in the bottom and then the quantum age by brent clark these are some science writings which give you insight into how the people have encountered the discoveries and probably for if you are the science students these books are going to help you and tesla's book you know nikola tesla one of the famous inventor and uh, very genuine person but was not honored at this time entangled mind all these things are there so i focus uh, have button i go back and then here are some of the books that are there uh, for purchase and then you've got this particular section which is called as the goodreads the goodreads section is connected to the internet here you can see that i am not connected it to the internet but it tells you who is reading what when i connect online to this particular reading book it shows how many people have read, read books and how many people have done the reviews of that then you can increase the brightness there here you can see this is one of the advantage of increasing the brightness if i increase the brightness not only that i can increase the font also and after increasing the brightness i can go to the store and here is the settings there so the setting has got so many options you can see that these options are not available in uh, when you read the paper but here in these settings you can have those options and increase the uh, font size also and you can see this this is the best way to increase the font size one of the best things that uh, i have noted here is the just opening the books there that chapter number seven uh, here is a paper there so i can just uh, find if this is fine interesting i can just move my finger there and down there here you just get it highlighted the highlighted you know text goes in the form of uh, some notes in the notes section there if you click on the right side after it goes to the notes section after you finish the book you can just go through the notes section it is less like underlining not only that one of the best thing it is having is you know you can have that uh, a particular particular place you know you can just uh, underline that you can see this this underline there yeah this one is underlined there 
and the entire meaning props of the arrow. You, there you can, it is all, it's, it's already downloaded. So entire meaning props of that. So wherever you have some uh, meaning, you know, which uh, which is very difficult meaning there. So for example, asymptotic is a word there. I just touch the word asymptotic. And just when I leave it, this the screen props up there. So here is a small square back that is zone four. The meaning of asymptote is a line that continuously approaches a given curve but does not meet at any infinite distance. We read it there. So this is one of the best advantages there. Just after that, you've got highlight. If you want to note it, you can just highlight it. Right? Highlight button is there. And then notes button is also there. When you click the notes button, it is taken into notes and then it goes into the notes section. Whatever you highlight, it goes to the note section there so i just uh, <coughs> can underline and come back and then uh, go back to the, uh, the search the home screen here is the home screen is my library and available books and the books i have written are so many things that the one of the best part is how you can hold it very quickly it's, it can hold about thousands of books you know, in 2000 books you can hold so i can just hold it in my hand and just keep reading that and another best thing is it's a technology that uses ink, e ink paper. It's it's not equal to the uh, the display that we see in the OLED or LED screens. You know uh, that means you will be <coughs> not directed towards uh, viewing the light. Usually, white light which you stare, you know, it's going to have some effect on your eyes. But this one is called as e paper. It is like we are looking at some object, right? In many objects you look in day to day life like your laptop or notebooks or books and any other thing in your house it's just quick like seeing the screen will mean that you're looking at some object not at the light if you don't look at the light you know you'll have less stress another thing is you can have a screening screen dimming and screen light reading mode is there it gives you the yellow light doesn't give you the white light so this is one of the best advantages there you can hold it and uh, take it anywhere start reading there magnify it choose the size choose the font underline it and then take the notes and then finally when you finish the book you can take over the, all the notes and then go online and submit your review to the good reads where people can get benefited after all reading and rewriting is one of the one of the topic that we have been uh, discussing for long and i suggest that you can this cost about six thousand to seven thousand rupees i purchased it it's uh, back four years back i purchased it still i find it very handy now Kindle has got so many uh, readers, you know, in its arsenal, and it has its the price is also very huge. But the basic Kindle comes to about five thousand to six thousand rupees, and there are other e-readers also like Kobo and Sony's readers, and uh, another one Infibeam. So these people have gone out, and Amazon has stand out, and its uh, technology is uh, very sturdy and stable. So I'm very happy with this. You can have a plan of buying this ebook. I'm going to see something about the ebook in our text research and we imported it. So let us see what is written in the ebook. So here is the ebook there. Taking notes, a third kind of passenger like to come across the passage that compared two or more items. Read the following essay and use a table provided to fill the notes. Paper and ebooks. So you can see that. Because there is a growing concern that mass media, mass media means, mass means, you know, not that kind of mass which you see, mass seeing like that. So it is a collection of media. So mass media and uh, digital technologies uh, decrease the time spent on reading. So mass media means you, have, you can just take an example that mobile phone is there. The more you have a look at the mobile phone, the more you look at the junk messages. People forward message without any sense, without verifying, without any authenticity. And you keep on reading and trying to find out what is happening in the other world. Maybe you try to see that there is something interesting apart from your own colleagues and your own family. And this is a kind of strange culture that is <coughs> taking you away from your quality time. You're not going to spend some quality time on reading something very authentic. So I suggest you always look for authenticity. Authenticity means how much genuine the news or the item that you are there, you are reading there. Suppose if somebody says, you know, there is going to be a vaccine for the COVID media, you have to look into the who is who is uh, telecasting the news or who is writing the article. You have to go into that. And after a few reads, you will know how genuine it is 
how fake the news is it okay so still people all over the world are still like books there is a reading is a great pleasure i suggest it's one of the best friend you can have in life you know several on several occasions i have got bad times and sorrowful times and book has been one of the, my best friends even when i don't get sleep i start reading in the night and i get sleep very quickly because it is able you are able to concentrate and bring your brain to some unison and because you have a chance to immerse into the exciting world and then something new thousands of new books are published every year and given the number of already existing books every person has unlimited opportunities in selecting some interesting piece of literary work so you can take up not only the literary work i, I suggest you take up the science writing science writing is about the uh, about the endeavor about the efforts of some of the scientists who brought some piece of news into the world for example you know if you look at a uh, very book in the latest book tim peak i have seen his you know he is uh, he was an astronaut he spent his life on the antarctic space station in space spending in space in zero gravity is very difficult and he has written a book called as a limitless okay it's a very good book and uh, <coughs> he talks about the different encounters he was having with his russian counterparts and about his uh, life that is there and likewise endurance is one of the very best book i read about this spending in size and and even there is one book called as the quantum okay it's not about quantum chemistry it's about the fight if there was no development of quantum you would not have been able to see the screen which you are now seeing okay quantum by manjit kumar is one of the one of the best uh, dialogue books i have written you know manjit kumar surprisingly indian authors have written so very well that uh, this book talks about the debate between albert einstein and niels bohr so these two people fought until they died and and whatever their discussion was about their fight was about is what we are having in terms of the quantum chemistry now and we are have holding this holding this mobile phones laptops tabs and so many advanced which is only because of these two fellows if you read this book it will tell you how these two people discussed how these people had uh, the quality of discussion and how these people spent their quality time so it's probably one of the best book after reading after reading which you know i have sp- I, i have decided not to waste my time there because life is very short and the time that we are to spend in reading is very very less usually you see if you sleep for 8 hours per day you spend about uh, you know one third of your life sleeping okay that means if you have averagely if a person is uh, living for 20 years 60 years you know he sleeps for 20 years he is sleeping okay and then 8 hours is the minimum sleep time that that is prescribed so just taking the average there and uh, look into the other eight hours that he is spending on on, on toilets on bathroom on uh, eating and all those things so again 20 years he spent on eating and uh, going to the toilet bathroom and all those waste things so how much quality time he is spending for his life that is very very less so that is how you have to classify okay so that is uh, why i have i just suggest you read books and start writing what have been written that is what you call it as the summary of what you written okay due to the exorbitant needs uh, this is about the about uh, the ebooks about market and now successful coming of traditional paper books this is ebook that you seen at the beginning this essay will explore differences and similarities between ebooks and paper books so we are going to explore okay despite all the visible differences digital versions and paper books are in similar in many ways first they both have the same text structure pdf and portable document format and the book that is okay including the cover both of the same the title page is the same copyright page is the same table of contents same chapters and second they have the same function provided us with new information and uh, that should be a very good book irrespective of the form all it is used paper books and ebooks for the same purpose that is to study relax work and learn okay at the same time There, is, there are many differences between the two ebooks are sleek and thin which makes them easier to carry sleek and thin so it makes them easier to carry they have a huge capacity many books you can store meaning that users can download thousands of books in one gadget so i have shown you how i have downloaded it spare them so on as carrying large volumes large volumes some opponents of ebook claim that contrary to regular books electronic devices are not so pleasant it's not so strong and the smell and touch but it's true you know you cannot uh, just 
book is different and book is book and ebook is ebook because you know when you touch the book uh, and turn the paper you get an idea at which page and which part of the book you have read something very informative thing they are made of plastic and metal have no smell whereas the traditional book smell of paper ink and dust of course dust is uh, one of the most common thing in the books that books attract a lot of dust someone's perceptions and when they are just related their history some people love old library books for this unique authentic smell it is actually the books smell is because of some uh, some phenols that are there during the preparation of the of the printing preparation of paper and uh, printing of the book so these phenols break down and the aroma that release that that chemicals that release you know give you unique unique smell of the book sometimes the smell of the books may not be very pleasant they will have very bad smell also okay so let us uh, go to the next paragraph there another important difference between the books and ebooks is the durability which talks about the durability how much it is durable traditional paper books can stand test of time you can store them over a long time they easily withstand heat falls moisture tearing and so on moisture is the the atmospheric uh, water present in the air in the, in the in the air that is about 60% and which allows you to keep them for hundreds of thousands of years e readers do not have this amazing quality and uh, uh, they are easier to carry and hold yet they may break at any time so they may break at any time means you know unless you drop it files kept in gadgets can be damaged by computer viruses but this is a far fetched thing it's not may not be true because this is a this is run not on run on a windows software windows is the most vulnerable software and uh, is capable of uh, being attacked by so many viruses if you use linux it is it's very safe and even the amazon software that it uses is 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 devoid of any such uh, a, 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 any such bug and you can just keep on reading besides as technologies develop some able ebook models come out out of use you know it says that they slow down of course it is true about every electronic gadget after using some gadget for four or five years they slow down they have this technique of uh, the people i know they have this technique of marketing in such a way that you should discard it and buy a new one so this is a business trick but if you buy a quality one you can just keep on i bought this ebook on 2016 and i'm still using it i haven't find found any difficulty using that but only some slowing down is there that is because i am loading more and more so which means that a person have to buy a new bottles to be able to download and use the digital books one good advantage of this is that you know you can download the books and uh, there are a lot of uh, books and persons you cannot buy spend some money you can just some get good books from your persons is like borrowing the cost is another point of comparison while ebooks themselves can be expensive they are not expensive you can just go to the amazon and and click a book and then you can see two options one is the physical book the other one is the ebook you will see that ebook cost very less so here is is not the right thing that is mentioned there users can save much money by buying electronic versions of the printed books they often cost half the price of traditional books and can be downloaded immediately so it says that again that they can be downloaded immediately and they can have the book immediately paper books especially rare ones can be very ex- expensive and hard to find moreover buying many paper books to use for a limited period of time is impractical at the same time so that is what saying many paper books is impractical you cannot store all the books and you cannot spend so much money on that at the same time the value of some paper books may increase with time which allows collecting and reselling them for the to profit here is talks about the resale to conclude the selection of a form depends on the purpose reader's taste the financial resources etc ebook centers but one should have the taste of reading that is the first and foremost thing ebooks or trash books have their similarities and differences and it seems there is no better choice ultimately it is informative that matters everything so everything works as long as you can get it okay so so read read and read is more important you can go to this and uh, see that use the dictionary to find out the meanings of the following words concern accessibility respective durability and impractical concern means you know kavale gida in kavale irukudhu appadinaangaliya ad concern so i am just concerned about how how you are going to write about the exams accessibility how much i can access you know what is the access by staying in the in the, in the college i can have access to classroom access to library access to white like that 
irrespective means you know doesn't matter at all irrespective of uh, caste color creed community islamicology you knows admitting the students okay and then durability how how long it is going to stand durability means you know, so whether whether proof and uh, <coughs> stability that is that impractical actually solla pona abadi nadagiradilla in practical practically speaking you know there are so many things uh, different and what is not at all practically speaking is taken as improper okay so here are some similarities that they want you to exercise and just you can just write down some similarities what are the similarities you are going to write so i am going to write similar to about the contents of their same okay contents are same paper and ebooks and uh, the number of pages uh, are, are you know you can see the uh, what is the next thing contents of the same and uh, matter is also the same so the entire matter and the references are the same in both this okay number of pages are also same number of pages are also same what more similarity you can have the can have the something the apart from this physical thing uh, reading pleasure is also the same in maybe the same okay reading pleasure okay but what that the difference is there so e books look like very solid and here it is in the form of the paper okay and uh, it looks you know paper can go for durability wear and tear is possible wear and tear is possible and depends on the quality of the paper quality of paper if you have very hard bound and very good quality paper it doesn't fit so here it can at least last for the 5 years to 10 years and after that it will be there but uh, inside after 10 years it is there is no guarantee some electronic things are there therefore may just uh, lose out electronics may wear out that is one other thing also there cost is this is this is every one time investment is there so here it is one time investment one time investment and the download download any book download or borrow any book and this one is difficult difficult and you have to buy volumes buy volumes <coughs> and then you can add one more thing and probably they are not asked as so on the paper books you can get a feel of reading feel of reading and you can underline here also you can underline but it is in the form of a notes and here you get a feeling of one page only not the pages finished etni page finish panirkinga etni page irukina adu undu books la varum idla varadu okay so those are the some of the differences between e books so at the end of this session i just suggest that you buy any e book if you get a chance and then more than that if you want to have a very good time with your scholar life you know start reading books maybe you will not understand in the beginning maybe it will be difficult maybe you can go to sleep but once you start reading you really come out of age and become a very valuable man thank you for joining me see you soon for the next session on the music